got it. Hi, thank you so much for talking to me today. I'm doing a class project about happiness. I chose you as someone I would like to interview for your thoughts on this topic. Your answers cannot be right or wrong. They reflect your own thoughts and feelings, and I'm hoping to learn about happiness from your perspective. So the first question is, I'd like to know how you define happiness. Not what makes you happy, but happiness itself. Um, I would say happiness itself is something that just makes you feel joy. And what makes someone feel happy is the best way I can put it. So what is that for you? Like fulfillment or like just being content with your... Um, I really want to say like fulfillment, but also being content because... when you feel like really happy with what you have right now, you don't really think you can be bad at anything. Okay, good. So how would you say wealth or money relates to a person's long-term happiness? Well, I mean, the term like money, I mean, money buys happiness. It can be real because if you want something, you can have it because If you really want it and it makes you happy, you should get it. So why not? But that's more short-term happiness. So Oh. how would you say it for like long-term? Long term. I guess you could buy yourself a house and live there forever. Because that would make someone really happy. Oh, yeah, I'm in my dream house and I just never want to leave. Or you have money coming in for a long time. that brings you happiness because you know that you can never lose it. It's your money. So, like, stability and, like, Yeah. would you say that, like, money would give you long-term happiness? I want to say yes, because of my situation, it would make it a lot easier for me with me and my child. Yeah, because you're a single mother. Yeah. So, okay, good answer. Um. How much do you think someone has to earn in order to be considered wealthy and why that number? Um, would it be like per year? Would Yeah. it be that? Oh God. Um, I'm not the best with money, seeing as my current situation isn't the greatest, but I would say like eighty five thousand, I would say that number, it just feels like a high enough number that you can be able to take care of yourself. Or a kid So situation. eighty five thousand in like a household or eighty five thousand just for your person? I think for Because I I don't know. because eighty five thousand when you're taking care of a kid or multiple kids or you have a family is different for from eighty five thousand for like just yourself. Yeah. I don't know how else to explain it. I'm sorry. I'm like not the No, best you're good. with that. Okay, so wealthy for you, if you had 85,000, you would consider yourself wealthy right now. Yes. Okay, so why 85,000? That's kind of specific. That is really specific. I don't know. It just, it was like the first thing that came to mind, even though I kind of thought about it for a second. Um, it just feels like I said a high enough number to be able to support. Like having a kid is expensive. Nobody tells you that. But, you know, um, it just, Between I'd be able to. like between rent and bills, and Yes. it would give you enough money left over to have like some fun. Yeah, like fun money, be able to take my kid out for some ice cream or something. Mm -hmm. So imagine you won a lottery with a hundred million dollar payout. What things would you do first? How would your life change, and how would your relationships change? So the first thing I would do is probably if I have any debts, which I do, I would pay them off. I would also put some money aside for my child's school funds. If they want to go to college, I can do that for them. And just, I would probably buy an apartment or house or something that I could be able to take care of myself and my kids because we need a place to live in a stable place to grow up. And I would 
buy a car. I would just make sure that I'm stable for myself and my kids because I just never, ever want to do that. And the other one was how would my life change? My life would change drastically because I feel like with that money, I would be able to take care of myself and I would feel like a better person if I knew that I was taken care of and my kids were taken care of and uh, my relationships I hope they wouldn't change because once you have money people can be greedy they can change completely like I want to be able to like give my my parents some money for helping me take care of my kids and just basically pay them off for everything they've done for me Uh, and if people just want to be greedy and ask me for money I'll tell them no because I won the money it's for me and my kids so would you say that the money would actually do you a favor in like separating like the good relationships from the bad relationships and I would make say you happier it would in the long term yeah I think it would because it really once you realize that some people have money you kind of see their true colors they're like oh you have money let's be friends again you know people left me when they found out i was pregnant and now they would come back and be like oh you're rich now you know for sure so what benefits related to happiness does wealth provide a person you think um i mean benefits would probably be like they wouldn't have to worry about debt um or anything like that they wouldn't have to um worry about losing any of their properties like you can get your car repossessed if you don't pay bills they don't have to worry about that because they're wealthy but sometimes um there's like not benefits but i guess benefits would be just like being able to not have to worry about financial instability So stability would give you happiness. Would you say that's like the end all be all to happiness, which is being stable or more of like a chance for you to build your own happiness? Personally, I think it would be a chance to build happiness because I could be happy right now where I am, but I think I would be a lot happier if I was able to be financially stable. Yeah, definitely. Because then you have, money left around to like enjoy life yeah a little bit more um would you like to add anything else um not really i do need to take care of my kid my parents are watching um them in the other room so i just have to take care of them soon i don't want to leave them going crazy yeah it was nice talking to you thank you so much thank you have a good day you too